This program is the time for me to vent those feelings. Another interesting choice. I don't let my personal feelings cloud professional issues. Well, let's leave Superintendent Lenton sitting at his desk waiting for the phone to ring and uh, go back to that meeting between Attorney General uh, Dunstan and uh, Premier Walsh and the Police Commissioner McKenna in 1967. Dunstan says in Felicia, I flew into a temper and demanded to know how he dared to traduce a citizen and endeavour to interfere with cabinet appointments based on gossip. He threatened McKenna with a court action for having libeled Bray to the Premier. He gave McKenna three days to produce any concrete evidence rather than just gossip. He told the members of cabinet that if they took any notice of this malicious rumour, he would resign. No doubt he meant it at the time, as Peter Ward, Don Dunstan's former executive, told Kerry Round, a co-author of Roman I, it was quite serious, pardon me, because Dunstan had put his career on the line.